Hi all, once again welcome to computer class. In the last class, that means in the 6th standard we studied, we all are living in the world of digital technology. Then what do you mean by digital technology? Do you know? What is the reason? Yes, nowadays all field we use computer. Is or no? Yes, then inside the computer all the data are stored in the form of zeros and ones. Clear? Suppose you take a photo by using a mobile. Okay. Inside the mobile, that image is stored in the form of zeros and ones. Okay. This zero and one is a digit. Okay. Both are digits. So, we can say that we all are living in the world of digital technology. Clear? And next, do you know? How we implement this 0 and 1 inside the computer? Do you know? Everything in the computer is stored in the form of zeros and 1s. Now, how we implement this 0 and 1 inside the computer? Do you know? Yes, by using logic gate. By using logic gate, we implement the zeros and 1s inside the computer. Clear? Then what is logic gate? Yes, logic gate is an electronic circuit having more than one input and one output. Clear? Then what is electronic circuit? Okay, you look at the picture, there you can see electronic circuit, okay? Now I hope all of you understood what is electronic circuit. There you see two types of circuits. First one is closed circuit and the second one is open circuit. Then what is the difference between closed circuit and open circuit? Anyway, in the circuit it contains what? One battery, two wires and one bulb. Okay. If the circuit is closed, what happens? Yes, the bulb will glow. Clear? And suppose if the circuit is not closed, or it is open circuit. In that case, what happened? Yes, the bulb will not glow. Clear? Okay. Like that, in the case of logic gate, if the circuit is closed, what happened? Yes, it will produce a high voltage. It will represent as 1. If it is open circuit, what happened? Yes, we'll, we will get low voltage and it is represented as 0. Clear? Now, I hope all of you understood what is logic gate. What is logic gate? Yes, logic gate is an electronic circuit with more than one input and one output. Clear? Then, uh, in the case of logic gate, two outputs are the first one is 1, 1 means high voltage and next one is 0, 0 means low voltage. Okay, then how you get 1? Yes, if the circuit is closed, you will get 1 as the output. 1 means high voltage and if the circuit is open, you will get 0 as the output. 0 means low voltage. Clear? Do you know which technology we used in the modern computer for making it as powerful machine? Yes, we use integrated circuit or call it as IC. Okay? Or chip. Both are same. Okay, IC and chip both are same. Then what is integrated circuit? Yes, integrated circuit is a set of electronic circuits or logic gates on one small plate of semiconductor material. Clear? Some chip contains or some chip contains less number of logic gates or electronic circuits, but some chip contains large number. Large number means millions of logic gates or electronic circuit. Clear? If you don't know what is chip, you look at the picture. Yes, this is chip. Clear. Look, this is a picture of motherboard. Can you see chips on that motherboard? Do you know what is motherboard? I hope all of you know what is motherboard. Yes, motherboard is a electronic circuit board and all the components of the computer is connected to this motherboard. Clear. And can you see chips in that motherboard? Okay. Now, I hope all of you understood what is the importance of logic gate. 
in the case of computer. Is all no? Yes. Logic gate is a basic building block of a digital computer. Clear? Then what is another definition of logic gate? Yes, logic gate is a electronic circuit having more than one input and one output. Okay, either it is one or zero. One means high voltage or zero means low voltage. Clear? In this video, I am going to explain different types of logic gates. Clear? Now I am going to explain AND gate. Okay, this is a circuit diagram of AND gate. Then first of all, this is power, this is output. Here A and B are the switches. Okay, then first you suppose both A and B are off. That means the value of A and B is zero. In this case, is there any closed circuit? Is or no? No, there is no closed circuit. So, the output is zero or this low voltage. Clear? Then, next you suppose switch A is off and B is on. That means the value of A is equal to zero and value of B is equal to one. In this case, is there any closed circuit? No. So, there is, the output is zero clear or we can say that low voltage then next there is no voltage okay okay then next you suppose switch a is on and b is off okay in this case is there any closed circuit no here the value of a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 there is no closed circuit so the output is 0 Next, you suppose both A and B are on. In this case, is there any closed circuit? Yes, there is a closed circuit. So, the output is 1. Clear? Yeah. Here, both A and B is 1 because both the switches are on. Clear? Then, from this two table, we can say that if all the inputs are 1, in the case of AND gate, if all the inputs are 1, the output is 1. Other case, it will be 0. Okay. In the case of AND gate, if all the switches are on or if it, its value is 1, its output is 1. Clear? Okay. This is the truth table of AND gate. Truth table means how the input is it will show it will shows us how the input is related to output okay next i will show you how you represent the and gate okay by this diagram we represent and gate okay and gate has two input that is a and b and its output is a and b this is the and gate with two inputs and one output okay then one more point here we use dot operator for representing and operation clear if we write a dot b means a and b clear okay then one more thing what is the important point in the case of and gate yes if all the inputs are one output is 1. Clear? Now I am going to explain OR gate. Okay. This is the circuit diagram of OR gate. Okay. First you suppose, I hope all of you know what are them. This is power. This is output. Here A and B are the switches. Okay. Then first you suppose both A and B. Switch A and B are off. That means the value of A and B is zero clear in this case is there any closed circuit no so the output is zero clear then next you suppose switch a is off and b is on in this case is there any closed circuit yes there is a closed circuit okay so so the output is one 
if A is off and B is on, what happened? The output is 1. Clear? In this case, it's a closed circuit. That's why output is 1. Okay? Next, you suppose switch A is on and B is off. Is there any closed circuit? Yes, there is a closed circuit. So, the output is 1. That means if A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0, what will be the output? Output is 1. Okay. Then next you suppose both A and B are on. In this case, is there any closed circuit? Yes, there is a closed circuit. So, the output is 1. If A and B. If A and B are on, what will, the, what will be the value of A and B? It is 1. Then output is 1. Clear? Okay. This is the truth table of OR gate. Clear? Next, I will explain how we represent this OR gate. Okay. We represent the OR gate by using this diagram. This is an OR gate with two inputs and one output. Okay. Clear A or B. And here we use plus as a operator. We use plus operator for representing OR gate. Clear. Instead of writing A or B, we can write A plus B. It represents what? A or B. Clear. Then one more point, you look at the truth table. From this truth table, we can say that if any of the input is 1, in the case of OR gate, if any of the input is 1, what will be the output? It is 1. Clear? In the case of AND gate, if all the inputs are 1, we will get output as 1. But in the case of OR gate, if any of the input is 1, Output is 1. Clear? Next, I am going to explain about NOT gate. Okay. This is the diagram of NOT gate. Then, this NOT, not gate is also known as the inverter. Clear? Do you know what is the reason? Because it negates the input of the circuit. Input value of the circuit. That means, if we give A as 1, what will be the output? Yes, it is 0. Okay, here output is represented as A bar or A dash. Okay, or we can say that A complement. Clear? If we give A as 0, what will be the output? In the case of NOT gate, it is 1. So, it is known as an inverter. Clear?